Doxycycline belongs to the tetracycline group, and within the tetracyclines it is characterized because it is a very liposoluble antibiotic. That is to say, it has a great affinity for soft tissues, tissues that have an important fat content. What is doxycycline used for? Well, it is useful for many bacteria that are difficult to treat with other antibiotics. Basically, Pastorella and Bordetella. To think that especially Bordetella and Pastorella are involved, together with the, together with the para-influenza virus and the syndrome known as kennel cough. Those dogs that cough continuously, that wretch, especially in puppies and animals that live in large, and animals that live in large communities of dogs. I am talking not only, as the disease says, of kennels, but dog breeders, or dogs that get together with many dogs in a fair, or in a dog show. This is the ideal breeding ground for kennel cough. And while it is not a very serious disease, it does, if we don't treat it in time, and we give an antibiotic just when the kennel cough problem starts, sooner or later we will generate a pneumonia, and that pneumonia in dogs and especially when they are puppies or young, can become immortal in a fairly high mortality rate. And for me, it is also very useful for everything related to joint problems. That is to say, a dog that has had a fall or has arthritis, and in that arthritis, as less blood reaches the joint because it is damaged, certain bacteria have an easier time to grow and proliferate. In that case, doxycycline works very well. It also works very well for foot problems such as pododermatitis. For example, demodectic mange, when it has the generalized form, one of the forms of expression is that there is a pododermatitis, that is, a thickening of the horny tissue that is on the paws of dogs. This is problematic because when this thickening of the skin occurs, the skin then cracks, and of course the paws are continually in contact with the ground, so they are a very important source of entry of bacteria. I have even seen problems of meningitis, that is to say, of deaths of dogs due to inflammation of streptococci or staphylococci at the level of the central nervous system, because the dogs had wounds in the paws, and it is not enough to cure them only with a simple treatment and it is not enough to cure them only with hydrogen peroxide, etc. It is necessary to put an antibiotic, and in this case, doxycycline, from my point of view, is the antibiotic of choice.